Be at the New Year's Day Bridgestone NHL Winter Classic at City Field featuring the Rangers and the Sabres right now. Fourth caller at 866-540-WFN. You win a pair of tickets, uh, and each winner will also win, receive a uh, Winter Classic Cause Light replica jersey plus one grand prize. Winner will be uh, able to go on the ice, on the on ice at City Field Skate on January 2. It's all from Cause Light, the world's most refreshing beer, and the official beer of the 2018 Winter Classic and the fans so uh head on up and get that uh done right now so uh get a chance to go out and enjoy the winter classic now guys wouldn't your wife your girlfriend love it if you treated her to the very best this christmas well guess what you can and i'm talking about the world's softest pajamas at pajamagrand.com these are soft uh they're like cashmere only better they look great they feel great and the best, you can get them at pajamagrand.com. They'll deliver them on time, which is key now as we head closer to Christmas. Just 10 days away. We're really nine days from uh, Christmas Eve. And you get them uh, wrapped because they do all the wrapping for you. So it comes individually gift wrapped. They make sure they deliver on time, and you'll be thrilled that she did. So that's as good as it gets as we get close to, as close to Christmas here. So go to pajamagram.com, pajamagram.com. Don't know what to get someone? Pajamagram.com, 1-800-GIVE-PJs. Okay, your family's counting on you to be the gift hero. You know what? You've been down that road before. So what do you do? Well, you head on over to PC Rich and Son. They have everything you need. All the holiday gifts for everybody on your list. Uh, TVs and Bose headphones and Xbox and all the latest uh, home gadgets and the computer gadgets and all the little, you know, all the things that you can think of. Anything electronics, they have it. Uh, they also have matches as if you're looking for that. So whatever you're looking for, you can get it from the good folks at PC Richard and Son. One stop and you'll get everything done at one store. So for all of your holiday gifts, all you have to do is whistle. All right, let me get a couple more in. We got picks still to do, and then we have to uh, bid you adieu here in the next hour as we come to the final. If the 30 years coming to one hour uh, is uh, kind of defining, but that's where we are right now. Uh, Dom and New Rochelle, what's up, Dom? Hey, Mike. Uh, as a 31-year uh, retiree from IBM, I want to congratulate you for your 30 years of successful sports radio talk on the fan. Thank you. And wish you and your family the best uh, – uh, going forward, and hope to hear from you soon. Thank God you. God bless. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Barry in Brooklyn. Go ahead, Barry. Mike, I just got a year old to listen to you sell pajamas. So, do what? I just got a year old to listen to you sell pajamas on the air. I, I don't know what word you're pronouncing. I can't hear it. Okay. You can't understand. Oh, sell pajamas. Oh, that's what you're yeah. saying. Oh, 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 okay. It's selling pajamas. I couldn't understand what you were saying. I got it. So, well, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Mike, do you know who this is? Yeah, Barry Lieben. How are you, buddy? Good, Barry. How are you? Good. I haven't listened to the radio a long time. Where's Chris? <laughs> yeah, I know where you can find him. I can give you an address. Did you lose him somewhere along the way? Yeah, yeah along the way, just a while ago. How are you doing, Barry? I'm doing good, but I, 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 you know, Martucci just called me and said you can't let Mike sign off without saying goodbye. Well, yeah, you could have, but that's okay. I appreciate it. It's nice of you to call. But I would have missed the pajama commercial. You would have, you, yeah, you would have. I didn't even. I don't suspect. I don't think you were someone who listens to the radio. So that's why you surprised me. You did. But, but now I got this vision of you in pajamas. There you go. So how you doing? Mike, I, I'm doing good. I'm good. doing good. I'm gonna, you know, I just wanted to thank you for everything. I don't think that Big Blue would have made it 25 years without Mike Francesco. Well, that's very nice. You guys are doing was, well. I mean, you need a couple more wins this year, but otherwise you're well, doing great. We would have done a little bit better without this season. <laughs> but I do. No, I want to say, honestly, I don't get to listen that often. You know, I'm not in the car anymore now that I live in the city. But uh, you were there for the very, very, very first event. You, you remember well against San Francisco. And uh, you've been with us all these years. You're a good friend, a good man. And as we say in French, I wish you nothing but mazel in the next part of your career. Thank you. You're, you're a good man, and uh, you always deserve the best, only the best in your next step, Mike. Always Thank you, Barry. Buddy. Thanks always. Well, Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Good, good guy, Barry. Leaving uh, Big Blue, you know, uh, Zell Traveling, of course, Big, big Blue uh, is their company with the Giants. That they have. Bill and Rockland, what's up, Bill? 
Hey, Mike, how you doing? What's uh, happening? Been with you from day, been with you from day one. Thank you for 30 great years of memories. Uh, real reason, very quickly, I wanted to call was, I don't know if you remember, back in March, you called my house up. My son just graduated from St. John's College, and you did a, uh, he's a sports editor of St. John's. He just graduated. Okay, congratulations. And did, yeah, and you did, a, you did an interview with him. He did a uh, cover story for you for the newspaper. Right. Uh, you called the house. You gave him 30 minutes. You were incredibly gracious. You answered all his questions. Uh, it was a memory that he's going to have for a lifetime, and I am, and and I just wanted to thank you for that. It was something that was incredibly generous of you to do, and I want to thank you for well, it. Thanks. And thank you for 30 years. And great good memory. luck to him. You should be very proud, and good luck, and hopefully he's on his way in his career. Rob and Lake Success, go ahead, Mike, Rob. Mike, I can't believe I'm actually nervous talking to you. First of all, congratulations on an amazing run. Thank you. I've seen WFN, as you know, from the beginning. I've watched your whole career. You were always the monologue of the day. I mean, and I want to just say for some of the calls who cannot get through today and some of us who are no longer with us, like Bruce from Bayside, a very close friend, we always talked. We, we were sometimes crazy, but in the long run, you entertained us, and that when it's, that's what it's all about. And I, I really have loved the years of listening to you, and I wish you and your family such success. Last one important question, which I don't, never heard the answer. Who was your biggest influence, and was Marty Glickman one of your favorite announcers? And thank you, and I'll be listening and he talking thank to you, hopefully, in the future. Thank you. You know, uh, on the TV side, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time early in my career with Musburger, and he was very influential. He was very smart. Uh, and on the radio side, I think it was Imus. So I think those two probably taught me more than anybody else as far as the business. I learned a lot of the business. I learned a lot of the TV business from Brent. I learned a lot of the radio business from uh, Imus. I think those two, uh, if you're uh, around these guys and you're around smart guys in the business, and those two, are probably as smart in their individual uh, mediums as anybody ever was. And I think I learned from both of them. I learned a lot from both of them. Roger in Bloomfield, what's up, Roger? Hey, Mike, how are you? Thank Congratulations you. on Thank 30 you. years. Thanks very much. It's been great. Uh, I went to your reunion show with my buddy Ryan last year, and it was a great night in sports. And hopefully you and the dog could get together and maybe do it once a month for charity. Now, now that you're retired, you know what? that's maybe, not a bad. Uh, you know what? There's something like that, Roger, is not a bad idea to do something like that. I don't know if once a month could work, but a couple of times a year, who knows? Maybe possible. Uh, we did that one for charity, and we uh, raised over a million dollars. Now that's because Mr. Dolan picked up the tab for all the expenses, including the Radio City music, music uh, you know, which is you know one of the great buildings uh, in the world. So you know, when you have Radio City there to start with doesn't hurt but uh that we did raise a lot of money that night and that's because all you guys went kendrick and suffering what's up kendrick mike i'm just calling 30 years old i grew up new york sports fan you being one of the biggest parts of it uh thank you for all the years of service on the radio uh it's been a pleasure listening uh, as a 30 year old though i'm also part of the mongo nation i have to say thank you for embracing all of us uh, and I'm hoping, I know you don't like the summers working summers, but maybe you could do a Mongo <laughs> Nation uh, Bar 8. Uh, Who knows? We might, do, we might do a couple of big events, uh, and we actually might do one pretty soon. So uh, stay tuned. We'll get in touch. And thank you to Mongo Nation and everybody, all the, all the uh, folks from Francesacon, which we are still thinking about Francesacon this year. So we haven't said no to that yet. Uh, uh, so to Mongo Nation, the Francesacon folks, to everybody on social media, thank you very much for all your support, which has been uh, un really unbelievable. It really has. Um, just just uh, amazing. And that whole thing, as it has unfolded, has just, uh, I think, energized the show. I think it took it in a different direction. And I think it's a big reason why this last 10 years, especially the last five, have been so successful because of everything that it did. Because we really connected with the, the younger people, which is something you have to do when you've been on the air uh, this long. You know, what you worry about is that your audience gets older, but that hasn't happened with our audience. It really hasn't. And uh, that's that's something that's really been a blessing. It really hasn't. That's about Mongo Nation and social media and the people who go to Francesca. Because those, guys, those people who do that are 25 and 30. They're not 60. They're 25 and 30 years old. Uh, and they all say the same thing. You know, I heard you on, the, you know, heard you in the back. Of, I was in the back seat with my dad, in the back seat with my family. I heard, I heard that time and time again, just like I heard people on the uh 
on the line that, that I, when I was at Mulcahy's this week say to me how many people were going to do half a day today and stay home and listen to the show and stuff like that, which when you hear stuff like that, it, you know, it makes you feel good. I mean, it really does that people would take that kind of, and, you know, make that kind of, uh, you know, change in their schedule just to listen to the show. And, uh, you know, these last couple of shows have been very special. They really have from the standpoint of everyone who, uh, called in yesterday and everyone who called in today, uh, you know, from the people who were, the people who work in the business with me uh, and the people we cover to the people that are the audience and the people who call, which are, you know, all equally important. Back after this.